everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the options newsletter trades from January year to date 2019 through June. So pretty much six months, first six months of the year. Nice start to the year here. 80% win ratio here year to date. This is with an advanced trader risk. Year to date results are huge, 764,800. So been a really good year. This is just the options trades, not even the day trades as well. It is really about becoming a success. If that's your goal, then you have to get serious about it. What does that entail? It means taking the time, taking the energy, getting motivated, and also thinking about what your motivation is. I mean, and money should be your motivation, obviously, but what's the purpose? Like, why do you want the money? Because you want to do this for your career, because you want to buy a home, you want to buy a car, you want to go on a vacation. I do think that having goals helps us keep us motivated as people. Um, so that, that's always been very important for me. And I have my own goals even here right now, 2019, which is one of the reasons I've been so so focused this year and this year has really been a huge year so far we're only six months into the year so looking forward to the rest of 2019 and if you'd like to join my group or join this letter I will talk about how to do that more here at the end so there's been a lot of, a lot of trade calls here for this options letter uh, busy busy year 145 year to date trade calls that we're gonna go over all of these ones here so that are done, I should say. Uh, one break even, 29 losers, and 115 winners. Huge, huge, huge year. And some of those winners have been massive trades. Win ratio, 80%. So that means you figure out of every 10 trades, two will lose and eight will win. And again, some of the winners this year that I've called have been Jimungus. Uh, and I've done a couple separate videos and some of those winners, I'm going to be doing some as well today. Uh, you never know when you're going to get the big one. They just kind of, they just come and that's how trading is, but you have to know how to find them and spot them. And obviously you have to be a member of this letter in order to get those trades. So what's your number one goal? Again, I was talking about this earlier. You know, do you want to do this for a career? Money is the goal, but there has to be a purpose behind that. It's like an extra thing. You know, you, you want the money for something. You don't want the money just sit and look at it all day long. You want to buy something, your job, security. Again, it has to be, have more, more purpose behind it. I get this question a lot. What if you're a beginner? What if you never traded before in your life? What if you don't know what to do? I've taught beginners. You can learn my whole system and my whole method in the Golden Gap course. You absolutely can. So don't be shy. If you're new, you still can learn how to do it from me, nuts to bolts. And a lot of people that have started out with beginners with no experience have done very well because they don't have any bad habits. I get this question too a lot. Do you need margin to do options? No. Options are just you pay the cost of the trade. All right, that's it. And again, have your goals and manage your expectations versus your goals when you start out. You can take a small account, the starter account usually is about $2,000 for an options account, and then you can grow it, and then you can risk more as you go over time. It's really though about my system. That's how I've made these calls, which is a high win ratio system that involves me getting up in the morning, looking for the right stock to trade each day, <laughs> and again, I'm just calling straight calls and puts. If you're not familiar with options, I'm not doing the fancy dancy ones, so don't worry about it, all right? But it's really, really important no matter what you do, swing trades, options, day trades, it is more important to use a high win ratio system than anything else, why? Because emotionally helps keep you on track. Financially, it helps keep you on track. And that is where you know, the consistency just counts. And that's why when you have a losing trade, then you don't fret about it because you know the next one is gonna be a winner. And that's how you go. Like I said, you budget yourself accordingly. And that's why you have to look at the size of your account and determine your risk per trade. This was a while ago now, gosh, this was April, two months ago, longer, that this big Disney trade was on. So 
I, this was a great call. So call this train as the Disney calls and it jumped right up in the time and continued. Pretty much everybody got out this day because the stock jumped up overnight, like 15 points. It was a great call. And, uh, and, and, and again, we'll have another one like this, I'm sure this year. BYMD was another great call. I've done a video on that. This is on my YouTube, you can check out. And this Dizzy was one of the first really big ones we had this year. Uh, so two, two traders that I know of um, made 40 grand on that Disney call. A lot of people made 10,000, 20,000. I mean, it was just a huge, huge, huge trade for everybody. So I had called, I'm gonna go back to the chart, the 120s expiring 426 and I called them on the 9th. And here's what the stock did. And this was a news gap, it was not an earnings gap. So I called in here and then it took two, three, four days. No, it was the third day up here. And again, so you see here, I had called the 120 calls. You see where the stock ended up opening. You see where it went. And this was even on the 12th, <laughs> it continued. But again, I think everybody got out. You have a move like that, boom. So this went more than 10 points through the strike. Huge trade. We'll have more like that, BYMD, it was a couple ones like this, and they happen. They absolutely, absolutely happen. So let's go back to the start of the year. Year started out well. In January, Lulu was a winner. Netflix was a winner. QQQs was a winner. A lot of trades this year in the market. Navinia was a loser. Cat was a loser. IBM was a winner. QQQs was a winner. Starbucks won. Spy, big winner. Spy was another winner, another spy winner. NTAP lost, that just didn't work. Cisco was a winner. Walmart was a winner. HD was a winner, SPY was a winner, QQQs was a winner, Target was a loser, Cost was a winner, that was a nice gap too. QQQs was a winner, SPY winner, a lot of market trades, a lot of trades in Google too. Google was a winner, Alta, big, big winner, that was an earnings. Netflix was a winner, Stitch Fix was earnings too, did not work. SPY was a winner, FDX, loser. Apple, bunch of trades in Apple this year too. Apple was a winner earlier in the year. Spy was a winner. Lulu was the break even. Spy, nice winner. QQQ's nice winner. Google, big winner. Those stocks like Google can really move. Spy was a winner. Amazon, small winner. QQQ's winner. Spy, loser. VA winner. That was the big Disney there in April. Spy was a winner. QQQ's winner. Google winner. Disney winner. There was a bunch of Disney trades. QQQ's was a winner. Apple winner, Twitter winner, Spy winner, another Disney. Disney really was fantastic. Amazon winner, Apple winner, QQQ's winner, big Spy winner. Microsoft loser, QQQ's winner, Spy winner. VA was a winner, Apple was a winner, Microsoft winner, Diamonds winner, Spy winner, Netflix loser. Lyft was a winner, Spy was a winner, QQQ's winner. Apple winner, BA winner, Diamonds winner. Baidu winner, Diamonds winner, Spy winner, Amazon winner, Apple winner, Low winner, QQQ's winner, Netflix loser, QQQ's winner, Spy winner, Baidu, really nice winner. Google was a loser, Apple winner, Diamonds loser. Apple was a winner, Spy was a winner, Diamonds winner, QQQ's winner, Diamonds winner, Spy winner, BA winner, a couple BA ones, QQQ's winner, Google, nice winner. That, that, that stock just really, is really nice to play options and it's very expensive to day trade, so. Actually, you could day trade the options in something like Google <clears throat> because the moves happen so big so quickly. Netflix was a winner, Amazon winner, Google winner, Altel, loser, Cost was a winner, Facebook, nice winner, Apple winner, Diamonds winner, QQQ's winner, Spy winner, Netflix winner, JPM loser. BA was a winner, Goldman winner, C was a loser, Apple winner, Netflix winner, and Amazon winner. Disney another winner, Facebook loser, Google loser, Netflix winner, Apple loser, Amazon loser, BYND winner, another BYND winner. BYND big winner, CRM was a winner, another BYND, another BYND, one BYND lost, Google winner, Facebook winner, BA winner, Facebook loser, QQQ's loser, Spy loser, Apple loser, QQQ's loser, and AVGO loser, 
and BYND again. BYND winner, winner, Adobe winner, Baidu lost, both the Baidus lost, BYND winner, BYND winner, BYND winner, CCL winner, Netflix winner, Google winner, Spy winner, QQQ's winner, Facebook loser, and Google a nice, nice winner. So 115 winners, 29 losers, one break even, 145 trades so far year to date that are completed. Um, and again, if you join the letter, you'll get the next trade this coming week. So I wouldn't wait if it's something you're interested in. A lot of people have transitioned from doing this letter who do not have time to actively day trade and then done the class and actively traded later. And if you just simply don't have time to actively day trade, this letter is a great letter. Win ratio 2019 year to date, again, end of June, 80%. So what's the benefits? Benefits of trading options versus equity trades, no margin requirements, no day trading margin requirements, which you normally need 25,000 at a retail broker. You do not for an options account. The only cost is the price you pay for the trade and you can make active money trading just like equity trades. And you can make a good return on investment. A lot of big winners in this year's calls. Again, you just don't know. I mean, it's, it's like you take the trade, you let it play out, you get the momentum. Sometimes the momentum is what I call normal, 50% to 100% return investment, that's normal. Uh, you gotta give the cha trade chance to work, but some of them have just been, just going like gangbusters, which you know I showed you in that Disney chart. Well, it'll just, it usually, well, what it will do is, I'll call the trade and then it will gap into the movement. So like if I call a put, it will gap down and during one of the days of the trade is on and that's the momentum. And then you're up a lot and you get up in the morning. And that is fantastic. I mean, those are the best, best days. You can, if you've never experienced that, like w with the Disney, like when everybody get up in the morning, like before the market even opened, everyone saw the gap and knew they were gonna be up huge. I mean, that type of exhilaration excitement for the money that you're gonna make in the day is there's, I mean, I can't describe it, but it's very, very exciting. And that's, that happens on this letter because I have huge calls. So some trading plan ideas for people, they always ask me what to do. Listen, hold the trades if you want, or kill them at 50% down if you want. But I tell people this trade could go on to work if it's down 50%, that happens a lot. So I, my advice to people is to risk the amount that they can afford and let the trades play out, all right? It's really gonna be your decision on that and how much you wanna risk, and it should be based on the size of your account, the cash size of your account. So what works for you and what doesn't work for you? Well, you need to think about why are you doing this? What time do you have involved? You do not have to babysit these trades. The trades get emailed to you at any time during the day at all. It could be in the morning pre-market, in which case you take them into the open. They could be during the live trading day, in which case you take them when you get the trade. You have to watch it. You don't have to sit and babysit it, but you do have to be aware of your positions and where the stock price is. So you could be in a meeting, check on your phone, see what the price is. If you wanna sign up for this letter, the good news is, guess what? No prerequisites. $49.99 a year, no prerequisites. You sign up for the Gap Options newsletter. Email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up and register. You get the trades emailed to you for one year. That's the price for one year. Now, if you wanna learn my method, you learn it in the Golden Gap course. Next class is July 13th and 14th. From nine to five Eastern time cost of the class is 59.99 US dollars. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. And you will learn how I'm calling these trades through the rating system. That's what you learn in the class, okay? Now I do a combo, trends and the Golden Gap combo is Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is a trend, 64.99, noon to four. Class is online, again, you can be anywhere in the world and take it, and then you will be eligible to sign up for the live day trading room if you do the Golden Gap course and become a student. Now, I'm doing some July 4th offers, offers for the Golden Gap course. What is in store? Sign up, pay just the tuition for the class, 59.99. Class is online, you sign up, by July 8th, and you will receive the Gap Options newsletter and the live trading room free through 12-31-19. So that's a good deal. You get the trading room and options that are free to the end of the year. If you wanna sign up for the newsletter, 
for the year you pay $49.99 or you can sign up for the newsletter for a flat fee of $2,500 through the end of September. So you get July, August, and September. Three months for $2,500, no prerequisites. It's a way to jump in and get started, start doing the trade, start making money, and then you can sign up for the year once you're done with this program or maybe you'll wanna do the class. Okay, that's totally, totally up to you. Lots of options here, lots of ideas, lots of uh, choices for you. Again, the idea is to make money, that's why you're doing this. Um, again, but what is the ultimate purpose behind it? I think it's important to know that as well. If you'd like more information, email me at melissathestockswoosh.com. Have a great holiday and safe weekend, everybody.